Good morning. I am leaving my apartment. It is 7.15 in the morning. Uh, Animal Kingdom opens at 9, but I know that they let people in early. So my goal is to get there and ride Flight of Passage. Gonna try to do all four parks in one day today. Don't know <laughs> if I will make it to fireworks or not. That's kind of a long day. We'll see how it goes. All right, we parked. I parked at eight o'clock. I wanted to park a little bit earlier. As you can tell, they are letting people into the park early. The park officially opens at 9 a.m. And uh, yeah, let me get in the park now and see how long the wait is already for Avatar. That took quite a while to actually get inside of the parks. And now we're inside of the parks. I need coffee as soon as possible. Uh, but we are in that mad rush to go over to Flight of Passage. I have a feeling the line's gonna be long now. Not a good start, but I am determined to make it a good day. Um, oh, some ducks. Taking a brief moment because no one is in front of the Tree of Life and it looks amazing. <laughs> All right, now to Avatar. Just a all right officially in line for this ride it is insane here uh if you're claustrophobic i don't recommend doing this but yes uh posted wait time is one hour so let's see how long we actually wait so they had us skip most of the queue and we're actually in line right now to go on the ride. I uh, started the line at 8.25 and it's now 8.40 so I'm guessing I'll be on the ride in about 10 minutes or so. So I really only waited 30 minutes. It has a posted wait of one hour. Okay, start scan. got them <laughs> but don't worry uh, they're very common around these parts uh, let's start the decon initiating GMR decon stay still over your number you're not gonna feel a thing they're all clear great all right you ready let's get you into the link chamber all right so I got in line at eight uh 8.25 and I got off the ride just now at 9 o'clock so really only waited about 20 minutes to get on the ride um, which is awesome and I love black light stuff <laughs> so now that I have some time I am going to try and make it on Everest since I am a single rider it shouldn't be too long of a line so it's 9 o'clock the park is officially open and I'm trying to see how long this line actually goes now. Because as you could tell when we first came in, we were all just kind of grouped up. Wow. <laughs> we were all just kind of grouped in before they dropped the rope to let people in. But now, the line looks insane. So definitely get here at least an hour before park opening because as you could tell, they let us in an hour before the line has to be at least an hour and a half now, at least. It's still the line, by the way. It's still going. And you know what else is a good thing? Is that everybody is over in Pandora. So that means the rest of the park is empty. And you could get the best photos. So yeah, I like... I kind of like that everyone's in that one central area because now I have room to walk. <laughs> There's no room to walk over there. It looks like they're actually filming something here. I wonder what that is. I think it's just worth it to come early because <laughs> there's no one here. It's great. You can walk. There's space. To make this day count for me in order to hit all four parks, I promised myself I would do at least two different things at each park. Um, so, so far we did Flight of Passage, now I'm about to do Mount Everest. 
Um, but the two different things don't have to be just rides. They could be shows, they could be pin trading, they could be eating. Um, my next park is going to be Epcot. Definitely plan on eating there for the Flower and Garden Festival. Um, so I'm saving my appetite till then, but I still need that coffee. <laughs> feel like Brendan Fraser right now. Wait time is five minutes, but I'm still going down this way. Lots of walking to do today and I need to uh, conserve energy. This is my favorite truck at Animal Kingdom. And nobody's around so I can actually see all of it. I love that up there. It's just so detailed. And all they serve is ice cream here, but it's just like the prettiest ice cream truck. It is 9.30. Uh, the park has only officially been open for 10 minutes, or sorry, 30 minutes. Uh, and I've been able to do Flight of Passage and Mount Everest. So now we're going to head over to Epcot and get some food and wine, or sorry, flowering garden. Everything is food and wine to me. Flower and Garden Festival underway, um, and I still need that coffee. Come early. <laughs> They've got a lot of Lion King out, getting ready for the new movie. This little ornament's so cute. These ears are different. Lots and lots of Lion King. And we made it. 10 o'clock a.m., only one hour after Epcot has opened. I only have one fast pass scheduled for today and that's at 2.20 for Frozen. Um, my plan is to leave right after I ride that. So I'm in Epcot for at least four and a half hours. Um, it's my favorite. I, I wanted to be here longer. Let's see what I can get from the Flower and Garden Festival. All right, made it into the best park, in my opinion. Uh, I actually did pick up another fast pass for Figment. I haven't been on that in a while. Um, but my first stop is Starbucks. So Starbucks, Figment, food, then Frozen. That's the plan. Let's look at some of the ears here. These are cute. This is one of our discoveries, the figment of imagination. Yeah, I know all about the senses. They're right this way, everybody. Figment, what is going on? You're turning this entire open house upside down. Imagination is the first open house. Imagination is the first open house. Imagination is the first open house. Come across the first topiary I've seen for the Flower and Garden Festival. It's figment. Just want to get a little close here. We could see some details on him. And now we are going into the butterfly garden. The butterflies outside. Very cool. So many out here. And one of the best things about Flower and Garden is when they do all of these beautiful florals here. It really stands out. It's beautiful. Some more topiaries here. We have Pluto on this side. It looks like Goofy on the other. I'll get to him in just one second. But how cute! And here is Goofy. They have a little playground over here by Test Track. And they have the Toy Story topiaries over here. Very cute. And then we have Buzz Lightyear right over here on this side. Thoughts on the Violet Blueberry Croissant Donut. It is very, very sweet. I'm glad I got some water. It is really sweet. Uh, because I am by myself, I am going to do the single rider for Test Track because I am actually right in front of Test Track. Um, and that's where you get that donut right there at Taste Track. So it's very close. I uh, haven't even gone into the World Showcase yet, but 
test tracks right here. I, got, I just gotta ride it. So I just got off the test track, did the single riders, waited less than 10 minutes. <sighs> I love being a single rider. Um, and now I'm gonna head around the World Showcase and check out the Flower and Garden Festival, hopefully get some treats. I've only had that donut, so I kind of want some savory things now. The Mickey and Minnie topiary has a line, so I probably won't get too close to it. But it's really adorable. It almost looks like Valentine's Day like. This rain gear is brand new. They came out with uh, these raincoats as well as some umbrellas. Very cute. I wonder if they'll make more for any other attractions. We got this Minnie Mouse one with the ears and a Mickey. So many cute new mugs. I love the colors of this one. You never see Emperor's New Groove merchandise, so this is cool. And Sword in the Stone. So cool. It is looking like it's gonna storm, so let's see how far I get into World Showcase. Um, I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> Oh, and here is some of the uh, festival merchandise. I want to find my mom some garden gloves or something like that for a late Mother's Day gift. Saw these ears up front. And then this is their spirit jersey for it. Too warm in Florida for me to wear that. Oh, I like this. For those orange bird zippers, there's still plenty left. So if you could tell by the title of the video, I'm going to be having a huge announcement at the end of this video. Ah, I'm so excited. Like I was planning on uh, announcing when the flight was booked and the place is booked and those things have happened. So you'll just have to wait till the end of the video to see where we're going. Also, in my Disney tag video, I talked about uh, one of my favorite moments in the park was getting engaged. I'm gonna show you right where that was. So continuing down this bridge, it's right over here to the left, next to the water. There is an area where you can just kind of go off to the side. I think it's the smoking area, or used to be smoking area, no more smoking in the parks. But yeah, it is actually right over here on the side. That's where he did it. Which is why it's one of my favorite parks. So my first stop officially for the Flower and Garden Festival, I got the Watermelon Cucumber Slushy. Let's see how it is. This slushy is quite delicious. Very refreshing drink. And I taste a little bit of the cucumber, but it's mostly watermelon. And it's perfect because even though it's about to rain, it is very muggy out. So loving this slushy right now. That chicken was really good. I used that as my lunch, essentially. It had a pretty good portion size um, and the frucci for dessert. That's always my favorite. I get that every year. I know what it tastes like, but I can't make that at home really. I, I don't know how to roll sushi. <laughs> um, so now we are going into the Japan shop. It is probably my favorite store at Epcot. Um, we stock up on incense here, so I'm gonna get a few things of incense See if there's anything new inside. Look how empty it is today. <laughs> Honestly, I love when it rains at the parks. It clears everybody out. Um, it's kind of more enjoyable for me because you're not running into people like how I was earlier at Animal Kingdom. It's awesome. movie comes out in about a month. 
Those are popcorn kernels. I came into the shop in the China Pavilion because I know they sometimes carry Shanghai Disney merchandise. So they still have some things from the grand opening of Shanghai Disney Resort. Pretty cool. I like that they do that here. Because I don't think I'm ever going to Shanghai, so. And there's also a whole exhibit about the Shanghai Disney Resort. Can't wait for Tron to come here to Magic Kingdom. I love Tron. And the ride seems like it's amazing, especially at night. This also seems like the coolest ride ever, the Pirates of the Caribbean ride over in Shanghai. If you get a chance to watch video of it, it looks absolutely insane. One of my favorite sections for the Flower and Garden Festival is uh, right beside the pyramid, right beside the pyramid for uh, Mexico. They have a little garden area here, lots of orchids. Oh, and there's that little buzzy bee guy. But yeah, tons of orchids. I don't know if you could see, but they go like all the way up the tree. some more it's just beautiful I love when they're like super bright colors they just pop this is the new uh, vegan option for the festival and I really wanted this corn on the cob but it's raining and it's a messy snack and I've had corn on the cob so maybe I can find out how to make that garlic spread and make it at home but oh it looks so good and I like that they're doing more healthier options and more vegan options. The rain's kind of cleared everyone out. Everyone's either waiting in lines or they're hiding in the gift shops and the bathroom entrances. So I'm glad I brought my umbrella today. It's helping to shade me from everything. But it's really not that bad. The worst of it's kind of over. Um, it's just sprinkling now. I love rainy days at the parks. We have some Toy Story 4 merchandise out already. Lots of Bo Peep and her little pant outfit. <laughs> and her sheep. So cute. So we have Aladdin right here. Beautiful lamp. Ah, this is so cute. <sighs> they got the new Genie Funko. Very cool. So Disney started making these patches and I'm obsessed. <laughs> There's so much more now. The hard part is which one do you buy? Look at Daisy, she's separated from everybody else but she's got her own section right here behind Spaceship Earth. Leave a comment down below with which topiary is your favorite this year. I'm going to go into the Art of Disney store and see if there's anything new in there. That's one of my other favorite stores besides the Japan store that I like to check out every time I come. This is pretty cool. Figment as all of the hitchhiking goes. I think he's going to the World Showcase. These are all the pass holder exclusive items that you can get. I'm loving this rainbow figment down here. So cute. So this is a sneak preview for the Food and Wine Festival merchandise. I'm hoping I can come this year for it. It is my favorite. Lots of rose gold, it looks like. And you can start getting this August 29th. So it is now 2.10. My fast pass is for 2.20. And a cast member told me I can go in five minutes earlier so I get to ride this in about four minutes now. Woohoo! And then I'm gonna head over to Hollywood Studios. While I'm in line for Frozen, I'm gonna look and see if there's any fast passes for Hollywood Studios I can grab. So before I head out, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of the construction. They're still working on it for the Guardians of the Galaxy ride. It's gonna be big. Like that building is huge. You can see it from the parking lot. So that's one I can't wait to ride. Last topiary for the flower and garden, lightning and mater. Someone dropped their popcorn and the birds are having a field day. I made it to Hollywood Studios. I am getting tired. Um, it is about three o'clock. 
Um, I can hear Captain Phasma all the way out here. They are testing the gondolas. If you could see them flying back there. I actually saw the Haunted Mansion one when I was coming in and I got really excited about it. But like I said, I'm not gonna ride them. This ride ended up getting delayed, but I'm actually really excited for it. I do miss Great Movie Ride. It was a great ride, but it did have its, its run and we need more attractions here. And we don't have any Mickey Mouse attractions. So this should be really cute. I'm looking forward to this one. This seems like a great problem to have. Who is it? I can do this. First time in here. Ooh. I love it. Feels like an Incredibles museum almost. Jack Jack has Edna up there. So here I am about to try the Jack Jack num num cookie. I have a feeling it's gonna be amazing. Had to get a bottle of water. I haven't been drinking that much today and I know this is gonna make me thirsty. And they have a lot of cute photo ops over here where Toy Story Mania's entrance used to be. Um, very cool, lots of incredible stuff. Let's try this. I knew it was gonna be very sweet. I didn't expect it to be this big, but look how melty some of this chocolate is. Like, it's so delicious. I don't think I'll finish it though. I've only been here for one hour. I think I'm gonna head out. I did a few things. I, uh, I met in the mode. I had a num num cookie and I saw the preview for Aladdin. I also ran into Frozone. So yeah, I would call it successful hour here at the park. I think I'm team ferry boat, honestly. It fits a lot more people, you get a breeze. You're not like confined to a small space with a lot of people. I like my space and I like to be able to see the, the castle come into view. Made it into the last park of the day, Magic Kingdom. Woohoo! I did it, all four parks in one day. Uh, my fast pass for Haunted Mansion I can use right now. I think they're doing the flag retreat. mansion time. I'm glad I got a fast pass too because the line is 50 minutes. Worth it to ride my favorite. There's always my way. Vincent would use it much, but I think these socks are new. And I like this print right here. Very cute. Something I did at all of the parks include pin trading, so I'm going to show you which ones I found today. I collect Beauty and the Beast, so these uh, two were immediate, like, yes, I want those. This is actually a new one from this year. And then I have these two couple pins. Um, I'm hoping this one's not a fake. It, it has like a lot of ridges, so I'm gonna have to look it up and see. But I love this pin series. It's a little bit older. And then this one is the winner for today. The Great Mouse Detective. These are so hard to find. Um, and I think this is from the Disney store. Yeah, they came out with like a bunch of pins for different years. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy to have found this one today. Oh, you scurvy scum! Do I hear ten? A hen for a ten! Dole Whip ears! Dole Whip ears! 
They're beautiful. Some end of day stats. I am leaving at 7, 10 p.m. I started my day at eight o'clock at Animal Kingdom. Um, I have walked close to 27,000 steps. I am tired, so that's why I did not stay for the fireworks. Um, but I had a great day, had some great food, got to meet Edna Mode, that was a new character for me. Um, yeah, pretty good day. <laughs> I got some friends in the background for my announcement, which is, drum roll please. Do -do 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 -do. I'm going to Disneyland, yay! Uh, I actually will be leaving in the last week of September and I'm, I can't wait. <laughs> it's my second time, my husband's first time. We got our tickets, we got our uh, flight booked, we got our Airbnb stay. So I am so hyped. But uh, any tips or tricks for Disneyland, please leave them in the comments. We plan on getting Max Pass, so we have Photo Pass included. Um, and we can make the most of our stay. But yeah, I'm so excited for Disneyland. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for following along with me today on my hitting up all four parks, doing at least two things at each one. And for that special announcement, uh, leave comments down below uh, with your tips for Disneyland and what you liked about this video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, um, just let me know. And thanks again uh, for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next time.